Welcome to Prompt Engineering 101, which will help you acquire literacy with this new technology. It will change your life. The new chat interface is a significant development in the evolution of technology, and its impact is likely to be felt for many years to come. The first thing is, this new chat interface is as fundamental as the graphical user interface. The new chat interface is a major technological development, equivalent in importance to the introduction of the graphical user interface in the past. The GUI was a significant change in the way people interacted with computers, as it allowed users to navigate using icons and graphics instead of text-based commands, making computing much more accessible to the general public. Similarly, the new chat interface is poised to revolutionize the way people interact with technology by enabling them to communicate with machines in a more natural, conversational manner. This means that users will be able to interact with technology using natural language, without needing to learn complex commands or programming languages. The comparison to the GUI is significant because it was a major technological shift that completely changed the way people interacted with computers, and the new chat interface is expected to have a similar impact. Bill Gates, who was instrumental in the development and adoption of the GUI, has also recognized the importance of this new technology and has stated that it represents a tectonic shift in the way we interact with computers. The second thing is, Steve Jobs called his personal computer a bicycle for the mind. The Chat VT is a motorbike for the mind. The third thing is, Sad Guru, my favorite YouTuber, was asked only a few months ago on US national television at a TV studio in New York City when he was in town for a United Nations program. The host said, I only have two minutes, teach me something. And this is what he taught. Breathe in and say, I am not my body. Breathe out and say, I am not my mind. Why do I mention this? Because this is key to understanding artificial intelligence. If you do not know the most fundamental fact that you are not your body, you are not your mind, and your heart is above body and mind, that the real you is your soul, which is indestructible. Even heaven and earth are destructible, but not your soul and that soul is the real you. Artificial intelligence does not have a soul any more than your bicycle has a soul. People can create AI, but not souls. Why is this key? A bicycle moves faster than your legs. A car is even faster. Faster still is the airplane. The fastest is the rocket. All those are body comparisons. Most people are more scared of cars than airplanes and rockets. Nobody is scared of rockets. Why? Because they are super well regulated. Not because they are slower than cars. The fears around AI are legitimate. But those fears will only materialize if there is no proactive regulation. Has that proactive regulation happened? No. Who will make it happen? You and me. We the people. We the people everywhere. Think of GPT-10 as the rocket for the mind. The safest rockets fly vertically into space. That is why they are safe. Astronauts that get to sit in rockets have to pass the most complex hurdle races. It is a super selective process. That is why rockets are safe. I think the safest AIs will simply talk to each other and serve humanity. GPT-10 might help us solve global warming, for example. But if people start using rockets to go from New York to New Jersey, I'd be super duper concerned. The same applies to advanced AI. But right now we are in GPT-4 territory, and both sides of the debating aisle on AI safety have green-lighted GPT-4. Prompt engineering the way I am offering it is at this current safe level of GPT-4. Prompt engineering for GPT-5, GPT-6, GPT-7, GPT-8, GPT-9, and GPT-10 will be different. Steam energy is energy. Nuclear energy is also energy. But those who handle nuclear energy for us are very differently trained than those who did handle steam energy. This course is about teaching you basic prompt engineering within the safety realms of GPT-4. Within this realm, more advanced prompt engineering is possible. For example, computer programmers doing cutting-edge AI work to program the near self-driving aspects of electric cars who use prompts to generate 80% of their code are engaged in complex prompt engineering. That level of complexity is not within the scope of this course. This is a 101 level course. That might be 301, but this course will involve some basic coding, especially for those who have never written one line of code because they don't know how to. This course is the basic literacy of prompt engineering. It is designed for everyone. Think of this as motorbike riding you need to learn before you can get a license or the car driving you are expected to learn before you can be given a license. Those AI engineers working on cars or flying airplanes, this course is not designed for them. 
This course is for every person who can hope to use ChatQT to enhance their work and personal lives. If you learn basic prompt engineering, you can hope to see massive increases in your productivity. If you can learn it as a team, your team will see massive increases in productivity. How will this enhance your personal life? If you have a very curious six-year-old or 10 or 12-year-old at home, now you can hope to answer any of their questions no matter the topic. They can ask you questions about black holes and you can talk to them about it at their level. Ask ChatGPT for help and the help will arrive in seconds. It can help your social life. It can give you party ideas, for example. Everybody, no matter what their profession, does word processing. Think of ChatGPT as the newest word processor. It is an amazing, amazing word processor. Which word processor before gave you your first draft? Never happened before. Which word processor helped you brainstorm ideas? Never happened before. Which word processor was willing to tutor you no matter what the topic and no matter what the complexity level? ChatBT does all that. It is mind-blowing and amazing. But it helps enormously to learn the basics about it. In a short time, it will become second nature to you. Think of the time when you did not know how to drive a car. And now it is so effortless you don't even think about it. That is what ChatGPT will become for you by the time you have gone through this course. But there is a catch. The catch you have to bring curiosity to the table. That is on you. I hope you will make the most of this course. I also hope you will share this with some of your friends, family, and colleagues so they may also benefit.